25 is helping you become debt free for 2023. It's already tax season. There are three moves that you need to make during tax time to help you get out of debt. Joining us this morning is financial planner Joe Burt. Hey, Joe, how are you? Morning, Danielle. Good to see you. I am so happy you are here. I'm doing my taxes right now. So as I start to do my taxes, and of course the folks at home do as well, what's the first step that we should do to get out of debt in 2023? Well, the first thing you need to do is understand how much money you have coming in, and then more importantly, how much money you have going out. And budgeting is really a key here. You have to look at your discretionary spending and your non-discretionary spending. And what you want to do is cut back on your discretionary spending. And these are the things that, you know, you don't have to spend money on, They're like your vacations, like dining out, uh, like that extra stuff that you want to do. You have your things that you need to do, of course, the mortgage payment and the rent and insurance. Look at what's left and then figure out what you're going to do with that money once you once you figured out your budget. W would you find that more people are doing non-discretionary spending right now just because of inflation with everything being so expensive, right? Or do you think that folks are like, listen, I'm still going to take the vacation. I'm still going to buy the car. Well, this is where discipline comes in. You right. know, at, the, at the end of the day, we only have so much money coming in and we have expenses. And if you're not disciplined, what you're going to end up doing is without those, those di that discretionary spending, you're going to end up putting on a credit card. And then when you start that cycle, you're really in trouble. So figure out what you have to spend and then figure out what you can do with the money that's left. And I see you have there the snowball effect. What is that? Well, what that is, is, is once again, now you have some money left. What you want to do is look at your credit cards. M many people have credit cards. And unfortunately, many people are, are paying minimum payments on uh -huh. their credit cards. Which is, which is a disaster. So the snowball effect is what you look at, you line up your credit cards, and then you look at which one has the smallest balance, and you pay that one off. And then you move to the next one, you pay that one off. What well, the idea is, it's a psychological thing that you're beginning to snowball paying off your credit card debt. Don't make the minimum payment on everyone. Of course, you have to make the minimum payment on all of them, but take that extra money and put it toward the smallest balance and begin to move up the chain and, and pay them all off. And I got to tell you, you feel a sense of victory too, because once you pay off that small one, it empowers you to move forward and then pay off the larger one and the larger one. Uh, but then once you get all of those things done, of course, you've got to worry about paying these taxes, right? So what can we do, Joe, before tax time to help us get there? Because I know we're there now, but these are kind of last minute tips that perhaps we can offer folks. Well, first of all, get all your stuff together. Be sure all your records are together. When you file your taxes, that you have all your W-2s and your 1099s together. And then look at what other opportunities you might have to save on taxes, even though the tax year is closed. And the one thing that's available to many people is making your IRA contribution. So for 2022, if you haven't made an IRA contribution, you can put $6,000 into an IRA, get a clean tax deduction. And if you're over the age of 50, you can put $7,000 in. That's a non-question tax deduction. Everybody's looking for tax savings. So once again, if you're building up perhaps that extra income that you that you have when you did your budgeting, look at putting some of that money aside. And even if you can't make it in a lump sum, you know, first of all, you have it till you file your taxes this year on April 18th to make that contribution. That does not include any extensions. You have to file it, do that by April 18th. But once again, it's a clean way to get that tax deduction. You have to look at if you're qualified, depending on what your income is, but many people do qualify for, put, for putting that money away. And that's the cleanest way to get a tax deduction. And then you might get a refund. And then you take that refund and apply it to your credit card debt. Ah, I love that idea. All right, Joe Burt, you always come with the really good ideas. We appreciate you. Thank you so much.